La 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 la. How many times do we say we would like to do something, but we don't do it? Um, for example, we might say, oh, I would like to go to the gym more often, like regularly. And then we don't and we find all sort of uh, excuses. Uh, the gym is too far, it's too expensive, it does not fit our schedule and so on. And it's not, it's not always a question of lack of will or, or interest. But sometimes it's the reason we give to ourselves. Sometimes it's the, the baggage we carry with ourselves, if I may say. Just to give you an example, we think of ourselves as a person, and then we, we think of all the things we carry with us. We said, oh, I need to have a house, so I need a mortgage. And let's imagine this little pebble, pebble as our mortgage. So put it in a pocket and said, oh, we really like hockey, so we need cable. And since we have cable like hockey, well, maybe a new TV would be nice. That'll pay. And we say, oh, we need to money for retirement, you know, for rainy days. So that'll pay. And we say, oh, would be very nice to go south, you know, to for for the holidays and and to travel a little. A lot of people. And then we said, oh, you know, the neighbors bought this new car and and maybe we should buy a new car. And we end up sometimes with so many pebbles in our pockets that we struggle to walk. It's too heavy. We, we end up unable to do something or to go somewhere. Makes me think of Mark's uh, gospel story in chapter 10 when a young man run to Jesus and, and asked, what should I do to inherit eternal life? And here eternal life is not the afterlife. It's not, you know, uh, heaven. Here we have to understand eternal life is a, as this life of quality. There's little something more in life. And Jesus said, well, start with following God's commandment. They're pretty simple. Don't kill, don't steal, you know. And the young man said, yeah, done it, check. Very good. What else? Well, Jesus said, well, wonderful, great. So now sell everything that you have and, and follow me. And the young man said, oof, cannot do that. No, I cannot do that. And he go back home. And in the story, Jesus does not necessarily call his disciple to be reckless, to be irresponsible. But I think the story is a perfect illustration of a French expression that tr can be translated loosely as everybody is for virtue as long as it costs nothing. We too often in our personal life or in our institutions, in our churches, uh, we want something. We desire to have uh, something more. But we're not always ready to accept everything that comes with it. We're not accept to make this special effort. For example, how many churches said we want more young family? As long as they come when we meet and their children remain silent and we don't have to adapt anything in our building. We want to reach out to more people, you know, the unchurch out there. As long as nothing in our service and the way of doing change, they have to adapt to us. As you probably guess, the truth is, it does not work like that. As the young men in our story discover, we cannot encounter Christ. We cannot have this special relationship with God and remain the same. We're not to be called to remain unchanged forever. A relationship with Jesus, a relationship with God is a transformative relationship.
and to be able to reach out for this eternal life through life of discipleship, we cannot just say, it cannot be just lip service. Said, oh, I'm, I'm saying the right prayers, I'm believing the right theology, so I'm okay, I'm good. No, somehow it needs to show. Sometimes it needs to be lived in everything we do. And we cannot base all of this in some past. No, it has to be lived today in many ways, but it needs to be incarnated. So the question is, what are we ready to change in our lives, in our institution, in our church? How many, how many things are we ready to maybe give up to reach this special life? How many pebbles do we really need to carry on? And which one we can just let go? in order to keep walking, maybe longer, faster, easier, walking toward our goal, walking toward someone else. That's what I hope you will have this reflection, this conversation with people around you. And I hope that you will come back to this blog. And until next time, I remain Stéphane Vermette, the lectionary man, and take care of yourself, and bye-bye.